DC police cars are seen in this February 2016 WTOP file photo. WTOP, Dave Dildini, Washington, the jury trial is over with multiple convictions for two armed robbers whose crime spree around DC. Two years ago touched at least a half dozen lives and even left one woman seriously injured. Dakon Gregory, 20, and David Sutton, 22, both of D.C., were found guilty Tuesday of multiple charges, including armed robbery, aggravated assault and unauthorized use of a vehicle to commit a crime of violence stemming from events on August 30, 2016 that began around 3.55 p.m. It was a case that led former D.C. Police Chief Kathy Lanier to declare that the city's criminal justice system was broken, because the crime spree occurred while Gregory was supposed to be wearing a court-ordered ankle bracelet. Gregory and Sutton, who were 18 and 20 at the time, started off by stealing a vehicle they found running in D.C.'s Columbia Heights neighborhood. Driving to locations in Fort Totten and Tacoma in northwest D.C., the two men robbed three people at gunpoint. A fourth intended victim in Mount Rainer, Maryland, turned out to be a former police officer, who wrestled a gun away from one of the men before they sped off, their car running red lights and stop signs through D.C. Neighborhoods The crime rampage collapsed around 5.35 p.m., when the men's stolen vehicle crashed into a car driven by a woman, who subsequently spent weeks in the hospital after having her spleen, gallbladder and part of her liver removed. When sentenced on October 26, each of the men could get between 15 and over 30 years in prison. Like WTOP on Facebook and follow it top on Twitter to engage in conversation about this article and others. Copyright 2018 WTOP. All rights reserved. This website is not intended for users located within the European Economic Area.